In this segment, uh, I'm going to talk about the TV streamer and some of the common feedback uh, or issues that we hear about the TV streamer. And the first one in this section is um, sound quality and intermittency of the signal or dropouts of the signal with the TV streamer. And uh, these can be caused by a couple different things, and, and happily they're, they're easy to fix. Cochlear wireless accessories operate on a 2.4 gigahertz platform, which is just the bandwidth that the uh, devices send their signals across. And while no other devices on the 2.4 gigahertz platform can communicate with the cochlear wireless accessories, they can interfere with one another. And there are many consumer electronic devices operating on 2.4 gigahertz. So cordless telephones and Wi-Fi routers laptops and Bluetooth devices, even your microwave may operate on a 2.4 gigahertz uh, wavelength. So it's, it's easy to see how in, your, uh, in an average home there could be some interference issues. If you do encounter some interference, which is usually a crackling or um, a, a quick dropout of the signal in and out, then you may just need to um, move, remove yourself from any interference. Uh, so check that there's not a Wi-Fi router or a microwave oven or a cordless telephone is another one that can, pro that can uh, produce interference with the cochlear wireless accessories. So moving yourself to another part of the room or into another room altogether can often fix that. Another reason for um, sound quality or dropping out of a signal with the TV streamer is uh, actually blocking the signal from the TV streamer to your sound processor. So this can be done um, you know, with, a, with a physical thing placed in front of the TV streamer, such as a, a box of tissues or um, any, anything else for that matter. But it can also be done with, with a body part. So if you're sitting, uh, if the TV streamer's way over to the left of the chair that you're sitting in and your processor is on the right side, um, you may not, the, the signal may actually be blocked by, by your head or your face. So if the signal is coming from that way and it's trying to get to this processor, you need to be facing the TV streamer so the signal can reach. Another reason for sound quality or intermittence um, feedback from the fee from our customers is actually related to the mixing ratio of the processor compared to the to the wireless accessory or the TV streamer. And the mixing ratio is the um, the percentage of the sound that you get through the processor microphones and the percentage of the sound through the wireless accessory microphone. So when you have a mixing ratio of one to one, that means you're getting 100% of the sound from your processor microphones and 100% of the sound from the wireless accessory, or in this case, the TV streamer. So if you're watching a TV show and you've got your, your children or your spouse next to you and you want to have a conversation with them, it's important to have the mixing ratio set at one to one so you get sound coming in from, from both the processor and the TV streamer. To change the accessory mixing ratio using your CR230 remote assistant, from the home screen use the right arrow button and select over until you reach the settings screen. Click OK and you'll find yourself in the telecoil mixing ratio screen. Select over 1 to accessory mixing ratio and you can see that this deals with the input from your processor microphones compared to the input from your accessory. This applies to both wireless accessories and wired accessories. To change the mixing ratio, simply push the up or down arrow buttons to select the number that you prefer. The higher the number, the less input you'll receive from your processor microphones, therefore blocking out the background noise, all the way up to 100% of the sound coming from your accessory and zero from your processor microphones. 